Hi Power People, it's the Average Man here. Uh, right today, I've got something new in the post. This is the Papyrus, that's how you say it, um, from Pi Supply. So this was a Kickstarter, um, and I'll, let me just open it up and show you what it is. Um, in a nutshell, it's an, I think they call it an e-paper display, like your Kindle style display, um, for the Raspberry Pi. Um, also works on Arduino, Beagle Bone, etc. But I'll get to that. Let me just open up this box. What I want to do is just show you what's inside, show you what's going on. I've got the camera quite close today, so we'll take it one bit at a time. Um, so I'm guessing this is the main article, so let's have a look in here. So this was recently funded, and these are all being shipped out now. As we speak, you should be receiving them. There we go, the usual uh, plethora of Pi Supply stickers. Good for the old maker box. Put those to the side. Okay. Yeah, so this this is their latest. They've actually got another one on the way. So once this is all sent out, they've got the uh, Pi Zero version coming out, which is really exciting. So keep an eye out for that. There's one more little bag in here. Let's have a look. Oh, it's being stubborn. Okay, so that was that bag. What have we got here? Um, fixings. Okay. And oh, some switches. I've got the optional switches in there. I'll come back to those. This is another lovely sticker. Pi Supplier, always uh, good on the stickers. Okay, so this is this is actually its hat. It's officially a hat because it's got the EEPROM and the mounting hole, so it's it's not one of these kind of fake hats that you see that I've actually got on Kickstarter myself at the moment. Um, so this is the main part, and the screen isn't on here. I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to solder that part. So let me get the screen out, and then we'll go into it. So I'm gonna guess the screen's in here. Uh, multi, let's have a look. So there's three types of screens. So this is the main board. This will be the same no matter what you do. And there's three screen sizes. So there's a 1.44 inch, a 2 inch, and a 2.7 inch. And they're interchangeable. So depending on what you're doing, you can change the screen. Um, I've got a feeling this is going to be used in all sorts of anything from hobbyists down to kind of industrial applications. I've got a feeling this is going to be a popular one. The whole point of e-paper being that it's really low power, which makes it great for stuff like that. Great for mobile projects as well. Um, I've got a bit more of a hobbyist use for it, which I'll come to. Okay, well let's just put that all to the side. What have we got here? So which way around will it be? I've got a feeling that's the back. Oh, you see me in that, can't you? Okay, so that's the e-paper bit. And I'm going to hazard a guess that that then goes into this little clip here. Which means it must go in that way. Something like that. And that's either going to stick on or something. I haven't worked it out yet. This is the first time I've opened it, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning as I go. So that's the larger one, so that's got to be the 2.7 inch. You've then got the 2 inch version. Again, I think that will go on there with the belt. And you have the kind of cool Pi Supply logo behind it as well, so that's handy. And then you've got the, the, the tiny guy, this little guy here, that can go here as well. So I can interchange it because there's belt based, I can swap those out, replace them if they break or whatever, I'm being a bit rugged. So let's leave those up there because I can't get my fingers under them anyway. So that's the main board. Up here is where you can put these little switches. So you'll see in here I've got these, and you, you'll notice, well you might have seen these before in the, uh, it was the Adafruit Pi TFT that had these, and in a similar kind of way. I'm guessing that's where the inspiration came. So these little switches will go in somewhere like this, and you'll push them in. And then you'll solder those in. Yes, that feels nice. Uh, and then, for example, when the big screen's on, you can use buttons to control whatever you've got on screen. I've got a really cool idea for this. I don't know how well it'll work, and it might take me a long time, but do you remember the old adventure game kind of books you'd get where you'd you'd start a story and it's up to you which path you take? You know, go to page seven if you want to go up. If you want to grab the sword, go to page twelve. I'm thinking that'd be quite a cool one of these because you can have a story on here with just a small kind of black and white graphic, giving it a kind of retro look, and then your buttons can make a decision. I'm guessing it must go this way then. Yeah, that would make more sense. Even though the Pi Supply logo is technically upside down, your display would be there, your buttons would be below. I'll say, okay, yeah, go this way, go that way. Um, yeah, okay, that's cool. So that's it there. It has got a real-time clock. That's what you've probably noticed, that big shiny boy in the middle. That's a battery. Um, and that's for the real-time clock, so you haven't got to be connected to the internet to keep a, a kind of a, an accurate time, which again is going to be really helpful for uh, industrial applications, things like that. And, and to be fair, it's absolute pain getting real-time clocks to work. So if this is in here and they've done the library, done the code for you, then that's, that's going to be a big help. What else has it got? So it's got a real-time clock. You can interchange these screens. Um, it has got a digital temperature sensor and a thermal watchdog. Now, I've 
I didn't think these things got that hot. I thought that was half the point. They didn't use a lot of power, but I'm guessing they need a bit of protection. Um, so the Kickstarter talks all about how that's included, so you haven't got to worry too much about that. I don't know if you can kind of code to pull readings of that temperature. That would be quite good if you can get a reading from that temperature and, and kind of keep an eye on it yourself on the screen as well. That would be quite cool. Now, it says the GPIO is broken out. Now, where is that? Let's have a look. Well, we've got the GPIO there. We've got the switches. I can't see the breakout. Hmm. Hmm. I can't see that part. Maybe I'm missing something. Or maybe I didn't get the bit that does that. Uh, okay, well, I'll look into that one. But that'll obviously just clip onto your Raspberry Pi, just like that. Obviously, this is kind of perfect for your A+. The A+, will be exactly the same size as that. B+, it'll fit. It'll even fit the Pi Zero. I, I don't know if the code works for the Pi Zero. I mean, the Pi Zero is the same thing anyway, so I'm sure it does. Itself as well. So there you go. Um, I will, that's just a bit of an unboxing. I'm going to have a, have a play. Here's all the parts. I've got some spaces there as well for fitting it to the pie, so that's really handy. If you've got absolutely everything you need. Um, so that's just finished on Kickstarter. You can buy these now on Pie Supply. So that's uh, piesupply.com or pie-supply.com. Uh, and yeah, keep an eye out because I'm going to. This is, this is just an unboxing, but I'm going to try and make my little adventure game, which means I have to write a really crap story. Um, but that won't be the, the reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it just to see how well that will work. I can imagine there'll be thousands of lines of Python code with my terrible story running across this little Kindle style screen. Okay guys, so uh, check out the blogs, averagemanversusraspberrypi.com and soon you'll see some more of this. If you subscribe by email, you'll get an email every time I uh, write a post and hopefully this will be one of the ones coming up. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.